can begin with the time. Yeah.
everyone. Hi, beautiful unravelers. If you are off your camera, you can come back on. And as you all can tell, there is something different about our space today. I am absolutely honored and excited to be introducing you all to Jenny Wadisi, who will be our guest and guide for the session. I have been looking so forward to having her with us for the longest time. And so I feel like it's going to be a big, big treat for all of us. So as I mentioned a little bit in our newsletter, Jenny is a singer, composer, founder of the Improvisers Choir and this amazing process called Vocal Tai Chi, among many amazing things she has done, which would literally take more than a Zoom session to touch and go into. I first encountered Jenny in a vocal workshop a few months ago, and she completely changed the way I understand voice and broke open my relationship with my own voice. You know, before I believed that singing was something that was an act of making uh, beautiful sounds, sounding pretty, while delivering meaning and magic, of course. Um, Jenny taught me, also just through the way that she sang, she taught me how voice and singing can go far beyond that and can be a very powerful tool of self-discovery and self-reclamation. And I'm so thrilled that you all will get a taste of what she has to offer in her gifts today. So with that, I will pass on the mic over to Jenny. Thank you, Jenny, for being here with us. If you can all give her a warm welcome and applause. We're so excited to have you here, Jenny. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dan Dan. It's, it's lovely to be here and to meet everybody. Um, and thank you so much for that heartfelt introduction. Um, uh, we have an, an hour and um, there's so much. So what I asked Dan Dan to um, let you know if you wouldn't mind doing is looking at the playlists. Before we do that and, and go into a little feedback process, I just want to quote that song that um, uh, you were just hearing the text of that song because I often improvise without text but this little bit of text was being used for a composition and I thought I'll just improvise on it um, in, the, in that piece and um, you know it comes from Heraclitus the Greek philosopher who says you never step into the same river twice so life is always constantly fresh and new and it's this original instant that we have to recognize uh, although it's the same river so you you may you may miss it um, so I just took that idea and turned it into the text so this river will always run though its name remains the same it's a limitless journey that is never done and you just came here to touch new waters again and then the second verse takes that into singing itself. So this river will always sing, though its song remains the same. It's a limitless story that is never sung. And you just came here to find your singing again. And in a way that encapsulates the, the quest of the kind of work that I do, it's limitless. And at the same time, it's just this moment, just this breath, just this note. And from there, the tree of life, the song of life can grow. So I want to kind of open it with that kind of contextualizing. I'm coming from that spacious place and I've used my voice all my life. I started when I was a child writing songs and it's been my kind of thread towards sanity <laughs> and um, healing um, and creativity. And so I've been blessed with that gift. 
and I like to offer it in this way, in this way which is unconventional. I can't fit into the box of singing teacher and I can't fit into the box of classical singer or folk singer. I, I, I'm just not going to do that. So this is my own thing. And perhaps when you were listening to the tracks, which I just invited you to dip into, um, something came up for you. And this hour is really um, about you staying in touch with you. I'm not here to kind of impress you or give you lecture or anything like that. I'm sort of like a kind of in service to your journey in this moment, in this hour. So stay with yourself and stay with your process and be with me in that parallel t um, universe. And in that spirit, um, I'd like to open the floor um, for people to begin just to relate with me. And we will sing, we will talk, we will be in silence, we will speak breathe, we will stretch, we will do all those things. But I just, at the moment, your face is in boxes and I'd love to link with your voice, your spoken voice, however, however it is this evening. So please do just um, unmute spontaneously. We'll just go around and just share something of what listening to a track um, or two brought up for you. Um, and tell me a little bit about where you're at with your singing, your your relationship to voice. I see a green square with Lucia Dragos, who I believe is Thai. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> I didn't intend to be the first, but okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so um, the first question was, oh, uh, the track. I'm from Bulgaria. And probably you or some of you have heard a lot of uh, folk songs and especially from a region in the mountains, they have this elongated, I'm not musically literate, so I'll butcher any musical terms, but this long um, and slow verses or music and that a little reminded me of that. So it brought a little sadness in I don't live in Bulgaria now. Uh, a little homesick, a little sadness. Um, and yes, where am I at my singing voice? Well, I always hated to sing. I always disliked my voice when I was little in singing in class. Everybody was laughing. I was not able to carry a tune. So I convinced myself that I'm terrible at it. So I barely passed it in school. But I always loved singing. Singing. So when I moved to New York, I was in acting school and they told me that singing will help me with my English. So I signed up for English classes. And the teacher said that he thought I was too deaf, but then he discovered that I'm not. So that convinced me that I probably can sing. And yeah, uh, I signed up for a choir in the Bulgarian school that my son goes to. Uh, some days I was good at, some, was, some days I was bad at but mm. I still don't like my voice that much. I got used yeah. to it because I'm on camera many times speaking, but I just don't like it. So I'm looking forward to today and really scared. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Lucia. <laughs> and you know what, you may be speaking for a number of people in the group in terms of where, where people are at with their voice, scared, not sure they they like their voice. And this is this is very common. And so I'm going before we go to the next person, we're going to st start straight away with some sound, and then we're going to see how that affects each person's share. So um, listen, I've got this little magic box, which means I can go into the mountains, and I can go into the caves, and I can sing along. No. Ah. Now, if you are there on the other side of the mountain, you're going to sing back to me. Ah. Now, you may be muted, unmuted, I don't mind. 
Just do what you feel safe with. Ah, 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 ah. Nice. Just that opening sound, just to say almost like hello or how are you or I am here. Let's hear from somebody else. Uh, hi, I'm Whitney. And hi, Whitney. Uh, hi. <laughs> um, I really, um, I love the um, internal visualizations I get um, from listening to music and especially the kind of like longer drawn out haunting. Um, and I find quite a peace and connection in, in that. Um, and I also, in those moments of like everybody kind of without thinking about harmony, um, but those, those calling out and how there ends up being this like really wonderful reverberance. Like we all meet each other in a place that sounds really good. Um, uh, and what was the other? Oh, my relationship to singing. Um, I I wanted to be a singer when I was a kid or like wanted to sing in the chorus and had a, you know, lessons, but I, people are, you know, it was never that like, oh, you're good, you know? Um, but I still really love to sing and I, you know, I do karaoke all the time and I try not to care. I don't care. I like to mm -hmm. sing and whether it's good or not, you know, not everybody's a great singer, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't. <laughs> great. Here we go again. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. Now guess what? I've got that on a loop. Keep going. Thank you, Whitney. I'd like to hear from someone else now. Hi. Hi, San Mayo. Nice Hi, to meet Jenny. you. Hi, Jenny. Very nice to meet you, Jenny. Yeah, so I actually discovered you, Jenny, a few months ago. And uh, I, th I was even in touch with you, and I really wanted to learn from you. Uh, so we didn't quite come together, but I listened to you and you inspired. I, I, I listened to something you'd played. This is before I even knew you were coming to this course. And uh, I, I am a singer and I have six CDs, uh, but I had stopped singing because my CDs were not selling. So I doubted my voice and... Um, so there's quite a lot of pain around that. Uh, in addition to that, the kind of singing I was doing was I wasn't able to express deeply enough what I wanted to express. And so I actually stopped singing and started talking, talking mm -hmm. my poems. So I did a whole album just talking on poems and I was able to express something deeper than I was able to do with my voice. Mm. And and through that, I actually got into film and that's how I met Dan Dan. And I realized that film and com cinematic composition was even deeper, I was able to access, but there was always this question where, you know, where's the singer? And, and I felt like maybe I will never sing again. Mm. And then I heard your voice and I started experimenting and I'd actually lost the upper range of my voice. So I also didn't think I would sing again. And then I heard you sing and I sat down on my keyboard and started to really experiment and did some super weird stuff. Some of what I actually shared with the cocoon and I've been do doing that ever since and really just letting it go in a really super crazy direction. A lot of, uh, you know, really like intense stuff. And I feel like, whoa, okay, this, I can express something deeper 
with this kind of singing. So Jenny, I would actually really love to learn from you. So this is my, that's my sharing. Thank you so much. Let's sing into that. And I'd like you to harmonize with it or just jam along or just find another note. Mm. Just anything you like. Just let's turn it into, if harmony is scary for you, just follow my not note and open up, open up to the voice. Ah. <laughs> breathing in, <laughs> just breathing in, breathing out, two notes, two notes. Ah. <laughs> It's a bit scary. Just do it as a hum. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So it we're just we're just kind of um going to the edge a little bit quite quickly because I can see some people are like ready and some people are not quite ready to sound into that big space and so um, you know starting with the breathing and the humming let's all do that because I think as each person shares we'll we'll learn something else about the whole group you know, it's you're not just speaking your own story. There are e echoes and resonances across the group. So we can just breathe deeply in together. And out. And in. And then just loosen the neck a little bit with the breathing. The neck is somehow a kind of safety barrier for the voice. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a place where you will hold on for dear life sometimes, you know, and it can get tight. So just see where your resistance is with that neck movement and that breathing. Ah. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. And you can make it a light playful thing. And then um, just letting s sort of child sounds come. So we've done these big grown up across the mountain sounds that the, uh, the, uh, the folk singers have been doing forever and ever. But what does the child sound like? Huh? Huh? Mm. Will she make a sound? Will he make a little peep? Or how how how's the child voice today what's what's going on is there a is there a little bit of a bad temper happening somewhere is there a kind of a a little bit of mischief just see where your child is today <laughs> Does it want to be a bad person? Like, no, I'm a bad girl. I'm a bad boy. <laughs> All these characters that we carry inside. Let's hear from someone else. Esther? Oh, Isabel. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So, hello. Uh, yeah, listening to the tracks, uh, I was just thinking, but she sings beautifully and she's playing 
And can you really do that? Do what you want with your voice and play. <laughs> and someone uh, else playing, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it, Two people. <laughs> it bring up a lot of insecurities because I, yeah, in a mirror effect, I was there, okay, I'm not feeling that free and it's really difficult for me to, to be this free and uh, and uh, yeah for concerning the second question it was more like i would like to give a chance to my voice <laughs> but yeah i was uh, told uh, really early on that i was uh, really not good at singing and that yeah i, I was not good at uh, at uh, at recognizing uh, notes sounds and um, right. and so yeah the, I'm not good at it uh, stuck with me uh, but my little girl in the previous work we did a few weeks back uh, told me that she would like me to play more with my voice and it was one of her things and I was like but how do you do that and <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> so great. <let's> <laughs> and just the way that you said that, she would like me to play more with my voice. <laughs> it can start with speech. It yeah. can start with would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> would you like me to run you a bath? <laughs> you know, let's make it as silly as it needs to be in order for the playful to start for the improvisational to have its little space you can just carve out a space for yourself it could be also sometimes with mantra that's another way of working to get the sound going and just because they're repetitious they're simple mantras can be learned very quickly it may even be just one note but you're sounding into that river that we've talked about um, so Let's have a, another share. Thank you, Isabel. Can I go? Yep, yep. Okay, so I listened to your tracks and I found like a new language. I always thought that words came short for me, like you couldn't express at 100% with words. And in a way, I was also scared of not being understood. So that's why a lot of the times I remain quiet, but now I found out that there are a lot of more languages than just verbalizing. Yeah. And so I tried yesterday and I just used my voice and kind of like, um, you know, just singing what my body was feeling and they had no words, just making weird sounds. It didn't really sound good, but it was so powerful and it was, it was magical. Like I can express how it felt because I feel like I spoke for the first time, like what I really was feeling. Oh. So oh. I'm truly thankful for that. Thank you for that. That's, that's just such a lovely share. Thank you. You know, that, that feels like you've really linked with something in yourself through sound work and voice work. And that's, that always is such a pleasure to hear. Um, you know, that idea of using a made up language, it's ever so freeing. It's like children would do it, you know? They don't mind. When they're sitting playing, they go, guys, almost to the meat. So let's have a play with made up language. So you are a child or you may be um, somebody from another planet. We just don't understand, but you're communicating your very own message in this language. And I want to know what that message is. And you're going to show me it's a mixture of speech which is more familiar, so you can start with the speech rhythms and then just shift gently into some, like Isabel did. She wanted me to hear her voice like that. So off we go, let's have a little play in a made up language and you can make it as ridiculous or as serious as you like. Take it away, everybody together. Let's open the mics. Or don't 
Okay, and let's have a bit with the mics closed so you can really hear yourself. Close your mic, let's just try it so you can hear yourself and nobody else. It's sounding so good, like a lovely um, chorus cacophony. Just try a little bit on your own so you can really hear yourself as well. Okay, this is really, you know, just to start the energy moving uh, with, with sound and just introductory. So thank you very much. Let's move to another person. I can go, <laughs> or or I mean yes, Jenna. please, yes, please. Okay. Thank you, Esther. Uh, okay, so um, when I listened to the tracks, I definitely felt like that, like something resonate in me, like and just some type of pull, in the sense that like I have always kind of been off of like improv for music, because I've never been able, or I guess I've never tried to do improv with like the music that I've known because I, I usually do play violin uh -huh. and I was always very jealous of people who could do improv because it seemed so freeing. So it was definitely a like I want to do that type of pull, but I've never tried to do that with singing. And I guess like my relationship with singing has kind of been like contradictory in the sense that like I think I discovered that I do like singing in like in private, but I think it's kind of been messed with like in my head with like, I think most of my family at one point did think that like singing really loudly was a big disturbance in the household. So I think I have a slightly complicated like feeling to it. And also like I am self-conscious of my very small range, <laughs> but right. yes. Okay. Well, um, Let's, let's have a listen to this thing and let's see what happens here. Um, here we go. Here is a pulse drone. Do you hear this pulse drone? Just allow yourself to be kind of entrained into that rhythm. Please keep your eyes open if you're driving. As <laughs> you stop driving, I'm a bit worried. <laughs> Sean, <laughs> are you <not> true? <laughs> ah, now you've got this pulse drone which gets you towards mantra a little bit you're going more into repetition and that brings you more into feeling the heartbeat going into the body inner life now I just want you to just See if you can use that as a carpet and just I am here now. I am here now is my little mantra for myself. But maybe you can find your own little mantra a little phrase that just gets you with yourself, just brings you into yourself. Here I am, I am here, here we are, breath is life. You choose your, let it come up. I am enough, exactly. 
Oh. Yeah, you can write them down, actually. That would be nice. I'd like to see them in the chat. I have space. Yes. flow. Let the river flow. Today is gone, tomorrow comes. Let the river flow. I am. Ooh, let the river flow. I am light. Surrender, receive. Light, surrender, receive. I have space. I have space. I am enough. 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 I you off probably a bit prematurely because these things want to flow and flow for five ten minutes but we're st sticking in a short timetable so just taking you into that other slot which is that that entrained slot of drone and pulse so you've got this stable note where you can just hang in the space forever and the pulse grounds you and gives you a sense of movement and then within that stable space and spacious holding drone you can become a little kind of diamond of your own within it you know you start to sparkle with I am enough you start to sparkle with surrender receive you start to sparkle with I am space, I am. Those things start to really just seed in you. Thank you. Let's move to another person. Thank you, Esther. Let's go to who have we not heard from yet? Jennifer? Megan? Sean? Somebody? jump in I can go thank you very much so uh, yeah when I listened to your tracks initially that's that's exactly what I felt was just a lot of space which is something I'm always craving but especially this week um, and I still just always struggle with taking up space I come from a large family and and actually we all love to sing so singing mm -hmm. has never felt like something scary or difficult but it's usually in the context of a group. So my grandmother sang all the time when she was cleaning the dishes or just whatever. And we would all join in and sing like all the time. She had four daughters and then there's a bunch of women in our family. So, you know, I grew up playing violin and piano and then singing always when I was playing. Um, but I, I've never felt confident enough to sing like even karaoke, like alone in front of a group. No, <laughs> it's always within the group context. So I think mm -hmm. also interwoven and in hearing those long notes and kind of like Whitney said, the haunting sort of like, oh goodness, there's all this space feels really delicious and refreshing, but also kind of scary. Um, mm, you're laying down, anyway. you're laying yeah. down a, a challenge to me to get you to sing on. <laughs> I'd really like to do that. Let's see if we have time. <laughs> um, Thank you very much. Um, let's see if we can do a, a development now. We'll use this drone 
uh, it's got more layers to it that I can add so it becomes a little bit more musically interesting and for you to play with but this time we're going to open mics one by one now you don't have to but you're going to sing if you want to you can share your your particular mantra for 10 seconds 20 seconds yeah and and there may be clashes so two of you may open your mics together so just be aware of each other and then just surrender to one person if, just see where the energy is and let one person go first and then come in afterwards okay um, I think it can work and you don't have to but I'd like to hear from as many as you as feel you would like to and if you don't want to absolutely you don't have to um, so let's go here we have we have our text and you might want to draw on somebody else's mantra or add it to yours so let's get it going and then in a moment we can open the mics one by one Start feeling into your repetitions, your tune, your little crystal that goes on top of this. Someone can segue into that so he can fade out. Beautiful, Sean. Thank you. Sing up a little bit louder if you can. to hear your voice let the river let the river flow Good, very good. And the next segue.
so much in there fantastic thank you Josepha the next segue are we all done last call now oh, here we go Whitney okay. <laughs> uh, I am like I am like I am life, 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 I am life. Yeah, great rhythms as well. You are really getting into the the groove there good beautiful thank you Whitney any more for any more there's no pressure it's entirely up to you I'm stretching the envelope here so we can I'm just going to creep over to Megan because it's too good an opportunity not to at least ask Megan if she'll try and sing it by herself for a moment because after that share it seems <laughs> important that we give you that opportunity. I have space. I have space. I have space. I have space, I have space, I have space. Thank you, well done, Megan. Very good, very good. Um, Jennifer, um, one final invite. Do you want to, have you? No, you haven't, have you? Can't hear you. issue with your sound. Ah, that's a shame. We'll come back to you. Tibby, let's hear. Not ready for it? Totally uh, respect. No, no, sorry. I re uh, that's uh, something uh, uh, above my uh, my level, I swear. Um, singing in public is something, uh, I don't know, um, uh, oh, can I share if uh, if you if I blew up the whole thing anyway? Say that last bit again. Can I share now uh, if I uh, stop the whole thing now? <laughs> oh, that's a problem. Can you hear me? I hear you. I just didn't get what you wanted uh, to do. Yeah, TD, why don't you wait to share until the end? Does that sound good? Let's wait on your share until the end. Okay, there we go. I know what I've done. Yeah, I turned my, my volume down on the thing. Yes, that's a good plan, Tibby. We want to hear from you, but let's do it um, when we see if Jennifer's got her sound going. And and maybe we'll invite Esther to take a little step forward. We'll see. <laughs> Jennifer. Is there anything there? Oh. Okay, she's sorting something out. Esther, we're going to come to you in the in the meanwhile. How do you feel about having a go at this? Uh. Oh, take a shot. <laughs> take a shot. Great. Let's do it. 
Have you got your words? Yes. Okay. What are your words, just so I can help you? Uh, I am free. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> Melody, you made melody. Let's see. Let's see um, if Jennifer is sorted. Fantastic. Well done, and thanks for sorting out your audio as well. You have to use your left brain as well as everything else. And we're going to just, uh, let's finish with a bit of a jam from everybody. Switch your mics on. Up, oh, open. as a coda give us a code oh boy i was thinking to hide <laughs> ah sorry you probably somewhere you, you oh, shut your vibe off and i didn't see you <laughs> what's yes. your text i'm letting go bah, go for it i'm letting go Lovely low note. I am letting go. Letting go. I am letting go. Yeah. I am letting go. I am letting go. That's wonderful, Lucia. You just did it. You just did it. And I realized that we might want to invite Dan Dan. I think that's fair, don't you? Sure. Before I go, I think TV wanted a second try. So let us move to TV first. Oh, you want to try, Timmy? Go for it, Timmy. Go, TV. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Good. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, just a sec. And so yeah, my mantra is also I am free, and uh, I know I'll suck at it. So, um, anyways, I'll just uh, need to take a deep breath and um, jump, jump, baby, jump. jump. I am free. Yeah, yeah. Everything is worth it. Can Everything. I, yeah, I am free. I am. Free. I am free. I am free. Yeah. A few I more. Suck at <laughs> I, I am, am free. free. That's it. That's it. Fantastic. <laughs> very, very good. Very good. And Dan Dan.
Ready? Yeah. I love you all. And I'm sitting in the lobby of a hotel. People are watching me. And I don't give a care because I'm free to express myself. Yeah! <laughs> Fantastic. La da 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 da. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, everybody. We've got five minutes. How's that for timing? Tibi, you wanted to make a share. Is that now yeah, sure still thing. up sure, or sure. is that still, have you gone beyond that? Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I want to share. Yeah, really, I, I do. Uh, first of all, I would like to point out that um, I don't know why. I, I really don't know why. And although I'm a neuroscience aficionado and uh, I really do deep work and I've been doing deep work, inner deep work for months, I still don't know why uh, singing in public, sober, drunk, I have no problem. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why uh, singing in public is uh, is one of my greatest fears and phobias. And um, I don't think I will find out soon. Although alone I sing as I, uh, as I love music like I love my mother. And uh, I also can rap. I, I, um, I um, adjust my voice um, depending on what, I, uh, what I'm listening to. So if I listen to rap, I'm, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the, uh, anyways. And if I can also listen to, to Oprah or like uh, Hans Zimmer uh, song with uh, Zarina Russell, that soprano, and adjust to her voice and stuff like that. But I just can do it. Uh, uh, on my own, you know, and I uh, literally don't know why I cannot do it in public. And um, yeah, another thing, uh, like I said, I love music, like I love my mother. And um, I've always, I, I have always uh, been able to see greatness in people. Like, I don't know how, but I, I can see greatness in people. And I also can, um, connect uh, to greatness in music i call the i call it uh, having the spirit of music in me and um yeah i sing i love music and uh, i don't know i just uh, i just can't we, uh, uh, i just no, don't know um uh why i can sing, sing in public and i will also like to share why uh, i asked for a second chance um it's about a book called The Hero with a Thousand Faces, and um, it's, uh, it's a circular journey. And uh, right now, uh, I'm in the phase where the hero has to uh, enter the innermost cave, which uh, holds the, tre the treasure I seek. So uh, lately, I've been like, uh, anything that uh, I am afraid of, let's, uh, let's do it. I still haven't uh, finish, uh, finished Dan Dan, uh, Dan Dan's uh, classes about that. But uh, until I do, I, I just want to tackle my fears. Uh, uh, anything that uh, makes me anxious, fearful, whatever, I just, uh, I just go do it. Um, I, I, and um, yeah, when the first time when you asked me to sing um, my... Um, uh, uh, my my unconscious mind, uh, my defense mechanism, whatever, just was like, oh, you know, you know, no, you can't do this. Uh, my primitive brain uh, were like, was like, you can't do it. And uh, afterwards, I started thinking with my prefrontal cortex, and I was like, uh, no, mate, you're aware that your fears. Now it's time to overcome it. So uh, yeah, that's why uh, that's why I sang. But uh, trust me, it was um, uh, it, it was fearful as fuck. Pardon my French. So yeah, that's my two cents on the issue. Thank you. 
thank you thank you so much for you know coming out and speaking it speaking it all all the, about the fear and about the thought process and about the way that you actually navigated the fear and found your neurological understanding helped you to sort of get conscious about what the block was and moving out of that and seeing that you could actually navigate into into your life through another place the frontal cortex exactly the whole exactly. thing is just so important as a process and i think it it shows us all how we can reposition our perspectives and then we can come in from a new place and start something fresh and different thank you uh, thank, thank you. you tibby thank you now listen uh, ladies and gentlemen we are just on seven um i haven't managed to get around to every single person and hear a little bit of from everybody but will you forgive me if that is enough for now and i think through um those who have shared in a way you know there have been things that you will have all recognized and identified with and you've all had a chance to come into the space and connect with me um one by one and that's really part of what i was hoping to achieve this evening was to have that kind of interconnectedness so um i'm going to unless there's anything anybody would like to ask me in the last minute or two just um anything burning that needs to be spoken please don't go away incomplete if there's something there let it be spoken now let it be said let it be opened and then we can release the whole session great looks like we're we're in a good space everybody have a fantastic rest of your course. You're with a master. I think Dan Dan is really doing fantastic stuff with you. So I wish you many blessings. Jenny, before you go, I just wanted to thank you again for weaving the space so magically. I mean, I love what TV said. He said, is this technique or is this witchcraft? And for me, it's, it's mainly witchcraft but I feel like I can speak on behalf of everyone, how incredible this was, how opening this was. And I'm so proud of you all for going for it and allowing us to hear your voice, you know, just so spontaneously. And I'm truly in awe of your gift to be able to feel into the river that is flowing here. And before we, um, you know, part, I was wondering if you could share any opportunities for how our unravelers here could work deeper with you, get connected with the work. I know you have workshops going on. I know you have a lot of beautiful offerings. So if you could speak to that, that would be amazing. Yes, um, I'd be happy to. And I think I've sent you a, a Linktree link. And in that Linktree link are all my links. Um, and the main thing that's on offer at the moment is private sessions, um, be they online or in person. The workshops are um, sort of having a rest at the moment, but in about a year, I'm going to be offering an apprenticeship. And that will be an in-depth training um, to work with so that you are able to then work with others with your voice and other people's voices. So that's kind of a kind of an advanced thing, but um, I'm open to the right people doing it for the right reasons, not necessarily having the high musical skills, but having the right attitude and being like taking risks and ready to work and develop. So that's coming up in um, a while. I, it's probably going to be beginning of 24, although I might bring it a bit more forward. And as I'm speaking, there's a cloud burst outside and it's absolutely pouring with rain. And I, my door is wide open. <laughs> so I've got to go and shut the door before the floor gets totally drenched. So um, do have a look at my links. And there's some music, uh, like the harp music is now available on my Bandcamp page. So you can, you can get the harp and voice stuff. It's called Felt Sense Music. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful, Jenny. I will make sure to send that link tree out. 
Yeah, and thank you everyone. And if you could all in the cocoon share, you know, what landed for you, what resonated, what is still playing inside of you after the session, I will then pass it over to Jenny. I'd love to see that, thank you. So I don't want your house to be flooded. So (laughs) everyone, I will see you all next week. Thank you all so much for being here. It's always a pleasure. Thank you, Jenny. And if everyone can come off mute and say our collective, see you next week. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful work. Thank you. Bye. Well done, everyone. Um, those who have shared in a way, you know, there have been things that you will have all recognized and identified with. And you've all had a chance to come into the space and connect with me um, one by one. And that's really part of what I was hoping to achieve this evening was to have that kind of interconnectedness. So um, I'm going to, unless there's anything anybody would like to ask me in the last minute or two, just um, anything burning that needs to be spoken, please don't go away incomplete. If there's something there, let it be spoken now. Let it be said. Let it be opened. And then we can release the whole session. Great. Looks like we're we're in a good space. Everybody, have a fantastic rest of your course. You're with a master. I think Dan Dan is really doing fantastic stuff with you. So I wish you many blessings. Jenny, before you go, I just wanted to thank you again for weaving the space so magically. I mean, I love what TV said. He said, is this technique or is this witchcraft? And for me, it's it's mainly witchcraft, but I feel like I can speak on behalf of everyone, how incredible this was, how opening this was, and I'm so proud of you all for going for it and allowing us to hear your voice, you know, just so spontaneously. And I'm truly in awe of your gift to be able to feel into the river that is flowing here. And before we, um, you know, part, I was wondering if you could share any opportunities for how our unravelers here could work deeper with you, get connected with the work. I know you have workshops going on. I know you have a lot of beautiful offerings. So if you could speak to that, that would be amazing. Yes, um, I'd be happy to. And I think I've sent you a a Linktree link. And in that Linktree link are all my links. Um, And the main thing that's on offer at the moment is private sessions, um, be they online or in person. The workshops are... um, sort of having a rest at the moment but in about a year I'm going to be offering an apprenticeship and that will be an in-depth training um, to work with so that you are able to then work with others with your voice and other people's voices so that's kind of a kind of an advanced thing but um, I'm open to the right people doing it for the right reasons not necessarily having the high musical skills but having the right attitude and being like taking risks and ready to work and develop. So that's coming up in um, a while. It's probably going to be beginning of 24, although I might bring it a bit more forward. And as I'm speaking, there's a cloud burst outside and it's absolutely pouring with rain. And my door is wide open. (laughs) So I've got to go and shut the door before the floor gets totally drenched. So um, do have a look at my links. And there's some music, uh, like the harp music is now available on my Bandcamp page. So you can you can get the harp and voice stuff. It's called Felt Sense Music. Thank you. Beautiful, Jenny. Beautiful, Jenny. I will make sure to send that link tree out. Yeah, and thank you, everyone. And if you could all in the cocoon share, you know, what landed for you, what resonated, what is still playing inside of you after the session, I will then pass it over to Jenny. I'd love to see that, thank you. So I don't want your house to be flooded. So (laughs) everyone, I will see you all next week. Thank you all so much for being here. It's always a pleasure. 
Thank you, Jenny. And if everyone can come off mute and say our collective see you next week. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful work. Thank you. Bye. Well done, everyone. <laughs>